Well, wow. Superman and Lois, Season 2, Episode 6, I think it was now. That was quite the episode, wasn't it? Wow. I'm a little bit late on uh, watching this one. I do apologise, ladies and gents. I know that, you know, there's some people that like watching these reviews. Um, but, of course, you know, the Batman came out and then there was copious other amounts of news. And just to sort of explain, like, the back end of YouTube... I can't release more than a few videos in a day because otherwise it won't notify you. So it doesn't matter even if I did do it and sort of superseded that, you just wouldn't get notified. So it sort of makes sense to save it for a day where I haven't released so much, if that makes sense. So I do apologise. I've literally just finished watching it. Wow. Wow. What a very, very good episode. From start to finish, consistently, I've always uh, enjoyed this show. It's been really, really good. Uh, season one was great. Season two is is proven to be better than season one. Much, much better. You know, season one dealt predominantly with uh, the sort of Luther kind of, and then of course uh, Morgan Edge. Season two is dealing with uh, Bizarro. That world and Ali Alliston. Um, and now, now we're dealing with the threat of the United States government as well. Which is an interesting angle to go with. It's not like a negative. They're not looking at it from a, you know, a wholly sort of negative approach. It's, uh, yeah, it's an interesting angle to go with. And I, I highly doubt that the commander actually has the approval from his commanding officers to do what he's now doing. He's basically captured Superman for treason. He, you know, lit red, um, you know, red, 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 red sun um, to weaken him. And he's been arrested. And now, by the end of the episode, he's been carted off to stay with Morgan Edge until he reveals the location of Bizarro. Who'd have thought that was coming? Not me. But of course, ladies and gents, we'd seen in the episode the commanding officer saying, in six months you've ruined the relationship with Superman. You know, our best defence, you need to sort it out. So I don't think he fully has approval, because otherwise it renders that scene completely useless. So th this episode, it wasn't so much of a filler episode, but it definitely was setting the stage for more things. So we open... On Bizarro's world, where you know he's in a suit, he you know goes to basically kill Ali Alliston in his world, grab the uh, pendant, and the scene where he's tackling the armed forces, the DOD, mirrors the scene later in because obviously it's Bizarro, it's reverse self, mirror self. It mirrors the scene later in the episode where our Superman, not Bizarro, but our Superman. Is facing off against the DOD as well. I thought that was really smartly done. You know, it's, it's not it's not epic, groundbreaking cinema. Obviously, it's not cinema, but you get my point, right? But it's smart. You know, this is a CW show. It's, it doesn't feel like a CW show. It, it's it's very very good. Well, production values are great by comparison. Uh, very well shot. All of that was really well shot. The filters that they had. Uh, to show this this sort of new world, this different reverse Bizarro world, were, was great. Like all of that was staggeringly good, really, really decent. And then that was basically the bulk of the episode of the Superman stuff. We didn't progress any further with that. The only thing that we did reveal was that pendant needs to be destroyed. It has to be destroyed. Apparently, that's what Bizarro says uh, because if they Link up, and then Ali Alliston will have she'll she'll pair with her other self somehow, and will gain ultimate power beyond control. Don't get it, don't know, but whatever, it's fine. Sure. It seems like the pendants are conduit to pair, which is probably what was happening with Bizarro and Superman before they there was a force field around them, and they were probably beginning to pair powering up which i think is quite interesting um i quite liked that but of course superman went to ask the dod for that pendant which then you know led to him being captured um so a very very interesting angle to take 
Now, the XK inhalers, you know, puff puff on the... Fuck, I sounded old with that. The inhaling of the X kryptonite drug that's been manufactured uh, is taking a really interesting turn with the boys, so Jordan and Jonathan. Um, Jonathan's now going a bit... Well, he went mental, really, and almost... Um, burnt his brother with his oculus vision, his heat, his heat, his, his heat vision. Uh, so that's presenting an interesting, an interesting angle, mainly because we've seen set photos of the actor dressed like Superboy, like he's in like a leather jacket and all this kind of stuff. So I don't really know what's going on there or where where they're going with it, because obviously the set photos came out and you know this seems to have resolved it in some way. He ended the episode by winning uh, a game, but he also said how hollow it felt. So that, to me, felt like that was resolved, like he wasn't going to do it again. Maybe he becomes addicted or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but that was quite interesting. And then realistically, it was just uh, the whole situation with the Langs. So Lana Lang, but it's not Lang anymore, is it? Uh, Cushing, Lana Cushing. Uh, and the cheating situation. Now, I've got to highlight this. Is I think that's a shame that they've gone down that route because it does show her to be somewhat of a hypocrite because when her daughter came to her and said, look, you know, I cheated on um, Jordan with, you know, with this girl at camp, she was like, oh, you know, I'm so proud of you, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, that's come back around and bite you in the ass, is not it? Like, I was just like, whatever. Like, it just seemed a bit of a weird right turn to do, you know? Seemed a bit odd. But great episode overall. Not an awful lot to talk about moving forwards. It'll just be interesting to see where they go with it. But do you have any thoughts or theories? That's that's what I want to know. Do you have any thoughts or theories on this episode? Let me know down below. Please do hit that thumbs up button. And if you've been enjoying these reviews, again, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button because it really does help out the channel. Uh, and do share them because that goes a long way. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you all so much, ladies and gents. I really do appreciate it. Again, I am sorry it's late. Wasn't my intention. So loads and loads of news dropped. Uh, and then obviously I had to watch the Batman. And that's been taking up a great deal of my time. Um, Tyler is still a fantastic Superman. Really, really enjoying the Superman. So not much else to say, ladies and gents. Thumbs up. Follow me over on Twitter at Mistake Reviews. But thank you all so much. Take care.